One of the biggest lies of building a brand that is out there on the internet. Let's get it. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. So, one of the biggest lies. Now, building a brand is more than just building graphic. It's more than building a product. It's building a whole system identity around your business, around a business. The brand is the business. So what is a brand? A brand is simply that. It's your business. And it encapsulates everything that your business does. What is its product? What type of materials does your product use? What does it look like? Who's it for? Who's your audience? Who uses it? Uh, let's see, all of your visual identity. So your logo, your colors, your fonts that you use. Uh, what does your website look like? Do you have an application? Um, a lot of things go into what is a brand. And so I guess in one word, what is a brand? It's identity. And so on the internet, you see a lot of, a lot of things. A lot of people starting brands, a lot of people starting clothing brands. And so I'm one of those people who have started a clothing brand, multiple clothing brands. And yeah, I didn't really know about building brands. And so a lot of this stuff that I've learned has come from, um, you know, just trying it and seeing what people say and then kind of figuring it out from there. So welcome to the office. I'm Chris and I create a lot of stuff. So, I do have a 95 currently, but I'm building businesses on the side. We do some hats, yes sir, and we do, we did have another hat, business two, dad life, if you have any dads in your life that need one of these, dadlife.store, um, and then I also do a game, this. Now this was birthed out of another company that I ran for two years with a buddy doing Christian apparel, t-shirt designs, hoodies. This was actually one of them. This is probably my favorite one. I think we got a couple sales, two maybe, one. Oh, I sent one to someone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we ran that for two years and we lost money. We didn't lose a ton of money, but we lost some money. I just didn't know anything about advertising, about building a brand. And it was my buddy's idea and I was totally down to do it. It was awesome, I loved doing it, um, but it slowly became exciting to this grind of creating content, trying to find you know, an audience, spending a little bit of money on ads, uh, but not seeing too much success and not knowing what to do with ads because I just didn't know. Um, but I was just doing all, all the graphics, all the design, all the apparel, and we were doing drop shipping, right? So my idea was that this brand, it was called Happy Jesus. And the idea behind it was that we wanted Christians to know that Jesus is more happy than he is just mad at everyone. Um, so it was a uh, cultural shift. Um, we wanted to put a message out to be a cultural shift in Christians, but in how other people saw Jesus around the world, right? And so that was the idea, but the branding we wanted it to be more Gen Z because Gen Z wears clothes that um, we kind of wanted and we were involved in a ministry that we wanted. That we were involved in a ministry that was specifically for young adults, Gen Z. And so that was the idea. We had people, we knew people, we could get feedback from people. Um, but it just kind of, you know, we put out designs. It just kind of, you know, you know, fluctuated. <laughs> Some, some designs were okay, we got some orders, some definitely were not okay. Um, but there's no consistent theme because I didn't understand how to build a brand. And so that brings us to... That brings us to the lie, which is that branding is easy. Now, some people might not verbally say this, and you know, the people that do brands definitely will not verbally say this because um, they know that it's hard, but when you see so many people building brands, building apparel brands, um, putting out graphics and content on Instagram, it makes it seem easy. At least that's the way that I saw it, that they can do this, so can I. 
and you see brands get started and you know six months a year later they got 50,000 100,000 followers and it's like whoa like that's crazy like if they can do it then I can do it um, and their branding you know it looks nice it's packaged up it has a nice feed Instagram feed and branding is really hard you can see visuals and you can be like that's really nice it looks nice and then it's like okay let me try to do that and you try to do it but it doesn't look as nice you try to make similar graphics similar photography doesn't look as nice and then you're confused on what the identity of your brand is maybe you don't have a clear vision for it kind of like i did for our brand and you're not too sure what to put out there you're not too sure what colors to use you don't have a branding package and yeah it's confusing because it's hard and so branding is difficult and the other thing that's a big lie too is that it's cheap and it's cheap to do branding is not cheap to do it's really difficult especially if you're paying people to do it and you want something that's like legit um, I actually had a quick combo tweet thread um, the other day with a girl who does branding um, and she's helped with uh, graphics for me for a, a thing and I would use her again too. They were saying that there's all these creative directors and there's all these art directors now on Instagram popping up and saying that they do all these things and someone responded and saying that people are claiming these titles but they're not doing a good job at you know doing them. And her point is that branding is really hard. You need some kind of schooling. It doesn't have to be university, but it needs to be some kind of schooling um, to teach you, you know, a lot of these concepts and ideas um, and a framework to think of, think from. And then you need a lot of practice too. You need the years of practice to do it. And you know, I, I agree mostly, like I don't, I'm not a credentialist who thinks you need credentials to like be good at something because um, I have self-taught in a lot of things. And I see a lot of people that are self-taught and they're successful, you know? It really doesn't matter where your school is if you are successful in what you do. That's just how it is. Um, a lot of times schooling helps though. Um, so anyways, this idea that branding is easy, but it's not, it's hard. So that's why people pay big bucks to get branding done for their companies. They pay big bucks for, you know, to make their brand cohesive. They have brand identities. Um, just think of, you know, companies like Nike when they run a new, uh, you know, campaign TV, uh, social media, uh, videos, graphics, uh, new you know clothing, like all these things, they look so nice together and they just feel right. But someone had to think that, someone had to you know, narrate the whole thing, put it together, cost millions of dollars to do, and yeah, it just takes a lot, it takes a lot of time. So if you're someone who is, if you're someone like me who's like, yeah, I can do that, Yes, I agree, like you can definitely do it. Um, but just think this, instead of thinking in, you know, I'm gonna create something in a few months, put something out there, especially if it's apparel, and I'm gonna be successful in, like I'm gonna be successful uh, in six months to a year. I think your mindset needs to shift to be more long-term. So with my, you know, a Christian apparel, I was like, I'm gonna do this for two years and stick it out. Um, and you know, towards the end of the two years, I just got kind of, I kind of came to the realization that I'm terrible at branding. <laughs> and then I decided to start more brands. Um, but specifically for this company, I was terrible at branding because I didn't have a vision. I didn't have a style that I wanted to do. I didn't have a brand identity. Um, I, you know, I had an audience to a certain degree, but uh, I just didn't know how to put all those things together. Now with my new brands, I kind of even before I started, I got a brand identity for it. Um, I had an idea on who's gonna buy it, you know, for my dad brand. It's, I had a brand that I was kind of mirroring, not mirroring, but I was borrowing who their ideal, ideal seller is. And for this one, it's like Western Grit Company. Um, and I wanted to do that for a dad brand. So Western grit dads who, you know, are intentional with their kids, um, who would wear something, you know, with a horse on it. And so that was very specific. My other brand, the Houston brand, it was very specific to a uh, specific type of people, um, you know, Houston sportswear, um, you know, people that are, you know, middle, 
middle class to upper class who can afford a nice hat. And with the games, it was kind of similar as the Christian brand because it's a Christian game. And so I had better ideas. That's the, the long is I had a better, the short is I had a better ideas for what I want to do for branding. Um, and so that's what I did and it's been good. It's been successful. My mind is clear. I'm building a brand. So for you, if you're just starting building a brand, get some help. <laughs> uh, just get some help to find someone you can talk to about it who has done branding before. Um, so it can help you get you know your thoughts in order, help clarify what you want to do. And so you're not just building something rambunctious for trying to appeal to everyone. You know your audience, you know your style, and you can get help where you need it. If you need help with the actual assets of branding, you know how to get it, where to get it, and you know what to tell them on what you want. So that's the key, you need to tell them what you want. If you're looking for someone to talk to, like I'd, I'd be happy to chat with you, just shoot me a message. But even more so, like I have friends who do actual branding for companies, and it's always helpful to chat with them and you can always talk to a uh, you know, professional in the space, an actual creative director. So anyways, branding is hard. It's not cheap. Um, you gotta spend good money on it. Um, I was gonna finish saying that if, if you're like me and you wanna try, like do it for sure. Just have the idea that you're not just going for the three months to six months to grow and be successful. Think of it as in like two to five years, you're building something. Building apparel brand, you need to think long term. It's not just because you can get uh, you know, 50 shirts, 100 shirts, 50 hats, 100 hats, 200, 300 hats for a reasonable price. It doesn't mean that's where the money's gonna stop. Like you need two, three, four, five years, you're pouring money into it and not expecting to get a paycheck, especially if it's apparel. If it's, you know, if you're building a business, like if you're building a service, um, you should be making money faster than that. Think long term. Think long term, not short term. Think long term. This way you can also avoid burnout um, and you can just have the mindset that, you know, things take long to build. You know, you're, you're not building a single house. You're building a skyscraper. That's the idea. And so, yeah, that's about all this video. Done with my yapping for the day. <laughs> I'm actually yapping because my AC is currently out really hot I'm getting hot in here not just my AC my electrical and so I thought I'd yap for a second professional yapper uh, which I'm not even very good at speaking but um, yeah here we are that's about it this video thank you all for watching and make sure you subscribe if you want to hear more about branding uh, content creation how I'm uh, creative trying to build businesses um, for the least amount of money for to get you know the greatest amount of success um, especially starting out so that's kind of me uh thank you for watching drop me a comment if you have anything Alrighty, see you later see you out there Toodaloo.